Hey everyone, welcome back to another walkthrough video for Try Hack Me. Today we're going to be doing the Lightroom. I've been away from Try Hack Me for a little bit. Just came back, decided to grab one of the easy boxes and jump back into things. So let's get to it. So I've already got the box up and running. I've got my VPN connected to it. Okay, first thing as always, you want to make sure that you got your IP for your target box and your host file. And you start by simply doing sudo nano etc host and your password. And you see here, I've got the IP address and light.thm. Then you can just save that by hitting the control X. And if you just put something in there, you'll have to hit Y and then enter. Now I grabbed this from the website because for some reason my Kali box isn't wanting to connect to try hack me today, at least the website. And underneath task one, you have this little snippet here if you read through it. He tells you what port the service is running on and shows you how to access it. And then you can use the username Smokey in order to get started. So let's connect and see what we get. And just like the instructions say, we're going to do nc light.thm and 1337. Welcome to the light database. Please enter your name. So we enter Smokey and we get a password back. So we know we're dealing with the database and it's retrieving information from a database. So obviously we need to move in to see if it's vulnerable to an injection. And usually the simplest way is just doing a single quote. Unrecognized token, so it looks like it is. And if you're having a hard time parsing this output, don't pay attention to the double quotes. Let this part tell you what's going on. It's our single quote in the middle of two other single quotes, and then limit 30. First thing we need to do is kind of figure out what database we're working with, and to do that, we're going to try to first off see if we can get a union statement running. And if you're not familiar with union statements, basically it takes your query, so in this case, say if we pass the username, Smokey, right? And then we did single quote union select asterisk from information underscore schema, because I'm mostly use, uh, familiar with MySQL databases. It will take any output it gains from that username, Smokey, and combine it with the output of the other command and throw them together. So let's see if we can do some simple union statements and can get anything back. Okay, so first we're going to do a union select one, and then this dash dash space dash is just a way to do comments with SQL. Really, it's just the double dash, but I found sometimes adding the section one helps. So we hit enter. For strange reasons I can't explain, any input containing these syllables is not allowed. Okay, there is another one we can use for comments in SQL databases, and that is the hashtag. So let's run and see what we get here. Uh, there's a word in there I don't like. So this probably has keyword filtering on it, and usually that is subject to just uppercase or lowercase. So usually if you combine them, you can get past it. So let's throw in some capital letters there and see what we Get. Okay, so we got union select one hashtag again, but notice in union I've capitalized the ends and select I've capitalized the L and the T. And what I'm going to do if this works is I'm just going to highlight from the single quote to there and hit control alt C to copy it. Now we're going to hit enter and see what we get. Unrecognized token. So for the next one, let's take a step back and think. We know that whatever we pass here is going to end up in between two single quotes. So let's see if we can try to break that to get this actually executed. So for that, we're just simply going to put a single quote here at the end. And there we go. We get our one back. So that tells us we now have the structure for our payload. Now we just got to inject things to figure out what we're dealing with. Now we're going to go through and try to enumerate the version of the database. And the reason you want to do that is that way you can kind of get an idea of what database you're working with. Okay, so this first one we're going to do at at version. And that's going to test if we're going to be dealing with a Microsoft SQL database or MS SQL. And recognize token. So we're most likely not. Okay, this next one, we're just simply testing version and open close parentheses there. And this will test if we are dealing with a MySQL database. No support function. Okay, this next one, we're going to test SQL Lite underscore version parentheses, and this will simply test we're dealing with a SQL Lite database. We get a version number back, so that's the type of database we're dealing with. So I do want to show you this real quick in case you're unfamiliar with basic payloads you can use on different databases. This is, of course, the payloads all the things GitHub. If you've never been by here, bookmark it. I'll leave a link to this specific page down in the bottom, and you can just simply click on payload all the things right here, and it'll take you back to the main page for it so you can bookmark it. But since we know we're dealing with an SQLite database, we're going to look at injection specifically for it. So we scroll down here, and you see there's our enumeration payload that we did, and then we need to figure out what tables we're looking for. So if we look here, you know it says extract database structure, and it gives us this, and then we have another one for extracting database structure, but for a version greater than 3.33. So remember, ours came back as 3.31, so you think it'd be this first 
first one, but I tried it. We didn't get anything, so it's going to be the second one. We'll have to use the master option. Okay, so we're back in our terminal. We've got our SQL from SQL master statement in. So let's see what we get. All right, so we get back a line for create table admin. We see the information that's put in when the table is created. So we know I have username and password. Now, there is one thing to note here. We're essentially only receiving one line of output with the way this is structured. It's only printing out one line. So to check that there isn't more in the database and there's more tables, we can rerun our previous statement, but we're going to use an option called group concat. Okay, so here's that. And as you see, it's the same statement as before down here, except all we're doing is using group concat and we're putting SQL inside that. So we'll see what we get with this. All right, so now as you can see, we not only have the admin table like we did before, but we've also got the user table. So going forward, we're going to keep using this group concat to make sure we get everything in our output. The first question asking what is is the admin name. So we know we want to focus on the admin table. So let's go see what usernames we can pull out of it. Okay, we're going to simply do that using the union select group concatenate username from admin table. Let's see what we get. Okay, this blurred out first one here is going to be the answer to number one. And we also see if there's a second entry called flag. So let's rerun our previous statement, pass in the password column, see what we get. Both these are blurred out because this is the answer to number two, and this is the answer to number three. There you go. There's all three of your flags. Simple, easy one, but definitely a good learning box if you're not familiar with databases and how to do SQL injections, especially SQL Lite, as there's not been too many boxes out there on either Try Hack Me or Hack the Box that I've come across that use this database. So fun little box overall. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you next time.